Well, happy Friday, Clark County. I'm Chris Brown. It's time for your weekend review from ClarkCountyToday.com. The big story, of course, this week has been the measles outbreak. Clark County public health officials say since January 1st, there are now 19 confirmed cases and seven suspected cases of measles. 15 of those cases involve children between the ages of 1 and 10. Three involve those between the ages of 11 and 18. One is an adult. At least 16 of the confirmed cases involve children who were not immunized. Clark County Public Health officials are urging anyone who has been exposed and believes they have symptoms of measles to call their health care provider prior to visiting the medical office to make a plan that avoids exposing others in the waiting room. You can check out our full story at ClarkCountyToday.com to see where officials believe you may have been exposed. This week, Battleground Schools Board of Directors made the decision to convert Maple Grove School to a K-4 primary school. And that means the 5th through 8th grade students will be moved to either Daybreak or Tooks Valley to make way for K-4 students coming from Glenwood and Warren. The move is designed to help alleviate overcrowding in the uh, schools in the southern part of the district after voters rejected a bond to upgrade those schools and build a new one for a third straight time. Speaking of education, be sure to read our piece on what Southwest Washington lawmakers have to say about school funding in the wake of impending budget cuts announced by Vancouver School District and expected from other districts as well. With the 2019 legislative session now underway in Olympia, lawmakers may be asked to look at some fixes to the McCleary funding bill from last year, but several we spoke to said they need more time to see exactly what's working and what isn't. And be sure to read our full piece with all 17 or all three of the 17th district legislators on their goals and priorities for the session. We'll also have a full write up on the 49th district soon. This week, we reported on a Tuesday meeting of the Clark County Republican Party precinct committee officers who selected three candidates for the vacant district four seat on the Clark County Council. John Lee, Brooke Pell and Gary Medvigi were selected from a group of 11. The three candidates will now go before the Clark County Councilors who will appoint one to replace Eileen Quiring, who was elected to the position of County Chair. Lee was the only candidate to receive a majority of votes from the 117th PCOs on the first ballot. Pell and Medvigi each received a majority on the second ballot. All three are Camas residents and for more info on the three candidates, check out editor Ken Vance's story on our website. Clark College President Bob Knight delivered his 13th State of the College address to hundreds of community leaders, staff and students this week. It will also be his final address as Knight announced today that he will retire when his contract is up at the end of August after 15 years with Clark College. The address focused on goals and accomplishments for the college, including a very positive accreditation evaluation by the Northwest Commission on Colleges and Universities. The college ranked number one in the nation for its pharmacy tech program and continues to grow its use of the Guided Pathways Career Planning Program. The president also honored a first-generation student who has won a state-level award and gave out presidential coins for excellence to faculty and staff. Knight said he was proud of the accomplishments in 2018 and that it only affirms the good work that everyone at Clark is doing. In sports, 32 high school seniors representing all of the football programs in Southwest Washington gathered for the annual National Football Foundation Scholarship Banquet. Ridgefield's Brock Harrison and Stevenson's Isaac Hoydle took top honors in all. Seven athletes received scholarships based partly on football talent, mostly on academics and community service. In basketball, Beyonce Bay reached another milestone. The senior from Washougal scored her 1500th point of her career. Washougal is undefeated in the 2A Greater St. Helens League Girls Basketball. In a boys basketball, Union took the first of two scheduled battles with Skyview in a key Class 4A Greater St. Helens League game. The Titans are 16-0 this season, ranked number one in the state's RPI. That's your quick look at the stories you'll find this week at ClarkCountyToday.com. Got a story idea you'd like to share? Shoot us an email, news at ClarkCountyToday.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to see when new stories are posted and be part of the conversation. For all of us at ClarkCountyToday.com, I'm Chris Brown. Thanks so much for making us a part of your life. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.